In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a beautiful horizontally scrolling website with smooth scrolling between each slide as I scroll up or down the page with a trackpad or a mouse. Now, this kind of feature can be found on very expensive websites, but today I'll show you how to do it for completely free. And the beauty of it is that it's super easy to do whether you're using the Elementor page builder or the Spectra page builder. Hello, I'm Kay from the Aso team, and before making videos here on YouTube, I I used to run my own web design studio for years. And one of the things I quickly noticed is that when done right, eye candy web design and interactions can have a major impact on the first impressions of a website and horizontal scrolling is one of them. Now you probably should not use it on each and every page, but with the technique I'm going to show you today, you can actually decide exactly on which page you want to use it. Now for the setup, I'm using the free WordPress Astra theme. Now you may use any theme you want, but if you want to follow along, you may as well use Astra. And for this video, I'll be using the Elementor page builder. But if you're using the Spectra page builder, the principles are exactly the same. And of course, all the code I've been using in this tutorial is put at your disposal and you find all the instructions in the description below. Okay, the next step is to create a new page. So for that, in WordPress, you want to go to pages, add page. Now let's call it horizontal. Next, I'm going to click on publish and publish one more time. Next, click on edit with Elementor. And next, I'm going to click on the Astra icon here for the settings. But first, I'm going to click on the general settings tab. And here, I'm going to enable hide title. Next, let me collapse this and let me click on Astra settings. So make sure the container layout is set to full width. Then you want to scroll down and where you see transparent header, we want to enable it. Next, click on preview changes. So it's going to reload the Elementor page builder. Next, let me close the inspector for a moment and I'm going to click on the plus sign and we're going to add a Flexbox container. So I'm going to pick this one here and where you see content width, I'm going to change it to full width. Now for the unit, I'm going to select VW and make sure it's set to 100 VW. For the minimum height, the unit should be set to VH and once again, set it to 100. Next, where you see gaps, you want it to be zero, both for column and row. This is important for the spacing between our future slides. Next, click on advanced and where you see margin, you want to give it zero all around and same thing for the padding, zero all around. Next, I'm going to reopen the inspector and I'm just going to double click here on the name and I'm going to rename it to main container and hit enter. Next, I'm going to right click and hit duplicate and I'm going to rename this container to container one. And now I'm going to drag this container within the main container. So it should appear like this. Next, I'm going to click on the plus sign here in the top left corner and I'm going to drag a heading widget here in our container, make sure it's within the container one. Now let me click back on my container one. Okay, so with our container one selected here in the side panel, you wanna go to layout and then where you see justify content, we're going to align in the center. Next, click on the style tab, background type, classic, and let's pick a green color. Next, click on the advanced tab, and here where you see CSS classes, we're gonna add the CSS class hordes. So basically you wanna make sure it's spelled exactly like this, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, now let's select our text here. And first of all, we're going to align it. So I'm gonna to go to style, align it in the middle, and then we're gonna change its color because right now it's not readable. So I'm just going to pick another color and I'm just gonna change this to slide one. Okay, now I'm going to collapse my container one, right click and hit duplicate. Then double click, let's rename it to container two. All right, and if we scroll, it's right here. So we're gonna change the color to slide two. And with my container two selected, let's go to style and let's change the background color so that we can differentiate. So actually I'm just gonna click here on the color and I'm just going to manually pick a different color. So this is our slide two. Now let's repeat the operation. Let's duplicate container two. Let's rename it. Okay. Let's change the text. 
let's select our container and you know the drill now style and we're going to change the color let's pick this one now let's hit publish and we're going to preview our page so for that just click on the preview changes icon here so at the moment this is our page and if i scroll it's not scrolling horizontally but fear not we're getting there but i just wanted you to see what it's looking like right now so let's go back to editing our page and let's select our main container then go to advanced and where see css class this time we're going to add the class main call spelled exactly like this because once again if not spelled like this it will not work now let's publish our page and now let's go back to our dashboard and from here let's go to astra customize and from here click on additional css and we're going to paste our css code once again all instructions in the description below next click on publish now let's close this then go to plugins add plugin and we need to add some javascript code provided to you so here in the search field we're going to look for code snippets and it's this one here. So click on install now and activate. Next, click on snippets, then click on add new. Let's name our snippet horizontal scrolling. Then select the content HTML tab and paste the code at your disposal. Now let's scroll down. And very important, you wanna select the third option. Display at the end of the body section in the footer. And next, click on Save Changes and Activate. And right now, I haven't refreshed yet, so I can still scroll like this. But now, let's refresh. And now if I try to scroll, as you can see, so it looks like there's only one slide. But if we open here, you can see they're still there. The reason being, when we added, let me click here on Main Container, Advanced. So when we added the Main Code class, this is what happened. So basically, if you want to edit this page, you're gonna to have to remove temporarily the main call class. It's super fast. So right now I removed the main call class. So here are my slides. I can edit my slides, do whatever I want to do. And before I save my page, I'm just gonna put back the main call class, then hit publish. And now if you preview our page, as I start scrolling, as you can see, it's sliding to the next slide, scrolling smoothly to the next slide. And as I scroll up, it's going back. This is the foundation. And from here, you can do pretty much whatever you want. And that's exactly what I've done on this website. As you can see, we have these beautiful animated video backgrounds. And as I start scrolling, we have gorgeous screens. Now, just imagine that on your website, just looking beautiful. And of course, if you're not subscribed, are you serious? Come on. It's just one click. Okay, let me check. Oh, you did it. Thank you. Now, in case you're using another page builder, like the Spectra page builder, for example, it's exactly the same principle. We have here our main container. And if I click on it and go to advanced, advanced, you can see we have our main code class added here. And if I click on any of the containers, so let's pick container one, same thing. We have the Hordes CSS class. And now if I preview my page and I start scrolling, as you can see, it's working beautifully. Now there is a little difference in the code if you're going to use the Spectra page builder. But once again, the code is at your disposal in the description below. Now you may be wondering, now what happens when we go into mobile mode or tablet mode? This code has been said to be used for desktop only. And I'll explain why. If we go in tablet or mobile mode, it doesn't really make sense because what we're using here is the vertical real estate and on a mobile phone for example it's already very small so currently even with all this code if you scroll on a tablet it's just the usual behavior one slide after the other but in a vertical manner and on the mobile is the same thing as i start scrolling down you see each container is scrolling vertically now of course you can alter the code if you want to make it work on all devices but I would advise against it. And look at the result, it's beautiful. I can scroll up, I can scroll down, and every time I scroll, it's smooth scrolling. Now you may be wondering, how do I get such stunning and beautifully animated backgrounds? Well, you're in luck because I created a tutorial on the topic, and that tutorial is part of our eye candy web design playlist, for which you'll find a link in the description of this video. You're welcome.